racers are ready here at the Kokanee Valley Race Series and you don't need to be a World Cup athlete to compete, although you may race against one. Skiers, snowboarders, telemarkers, everyone's welcome at this recreational race. We've got people in race suits that come out. We have people that have never done it. Two birds in one kitchen means sweet tweets in Squamish. Working with sugar is always a passion. The top of the world. And this new band is feeling on top of the world. The sky so blue. Find this and more today on The Express. You'll only find it here on Shaw TV. Welcome to The Express on Shaw TV. I'm your Sea to Sky host, Nicole Fitzgerald. One planks or two, it's a recreational racing of all kinds here on Whistler Blackcomb. Today's course is Terrain GS, unique only to Whistler. We'll learn more about it in just a moment. But first, if you want it, they'll make it. It's the mantra of a newly opened eatery in Squamish, one that's having tasty results. I usually start at 5 a.m. to get all the breakfast pastries out. Leanne Bird pulls croissants fresh from the oven. The co-owner of Two Birds Eatery in Squamish takes care of the sweet side of operations. Everything starts from scratch, even the gum. Working with sugar is always a passion. So I started doing little hard candies, lollipops, and making them taste good. And then I was curious if you can make bubble gum outside a factory, which in fact you can, and it tastes awesome. I started experimenting with it and it turns out it's a lot similar to the process of making bread. The Two Birds Eatery display cases run the gamut, just like its executive chef and co-owner Carol Bird. The certified Red Seal Chef Assessor has worked in kitchens around the world for 27 years, bringing European techniques and taste to Squamish. It's classical European style that uh, uh, we do. Uh, that's how I was trained uh, at the Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise. Uh, whether we were in the butcher shop or pastries, we always did everything by hand. Sausages, pâtés, uh, terrines, uh, all the cakes. There's more connection with your food when you're touching it with your hands and, and you taste everything step by step to make sure that every product is good. Home cooked meals are good both here or at home. The grab and go section was created out of necessity. I was commuting back and forth from the city and I was tired at the end of the night and I didn't want to sit there and make a beef bourguignon for four hours or three hours. I got the idea of making things very good and then I thin crowd back them so that they can thaw out quicker. Thinking outside of the box is what keeps these two partners working happily side by side on canapes for a special occasion at the Britannia Mine Museum. It's good to go. We bake off our baguette and I put some truffle oil on top of it and I put some nice brie and uh, I poach some pears in some wine. <laughs> Opening the Two Birds Eatery and Catering Company last fall was a dream come true for the two women. A lot of people say, oh, how can you guys work and live together? And it's just, we talk everything out and it's, it's pretty simple, you know, being two girls, uh, it makes it a little easier. My favorite words are change and variety. So it's really nice to have a partner that values those words as well. You want it, we'll make it, and that's the truth. We always are up to new things. It just adds to a more creative work atmosphere and a reason to pop in where on any given day a sweet or savory surprise is pulled fresh from the oven. From Squamish, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV. My top picks are the spatzel and lemon tarts, absolutely divine. Two Birds Eatery is open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily and of course they're open in the evenings for special events as well. Terrain GS Ski Racing. You've probably never heard of it. It's the only kind of fun that you can have here at the Kokanee Valley Race Series, a series that's picking up speed on Blackcomb Mountain. The tradition of ski racing in Whistler goes back a long, long way from Dave Murray, the crazy Canucks. So there is a huge heritage with the Whistler Mountain Ski Club. And what we see in our, all our events is ex-racers, guys like Rob Boyd, Chris Kent, all these guys come out and to these recreational races. You could, any given day, race against ex-World Cup racers and challenge yourself, but yet still have fun and have a beer at the end of the day.
ages 19 to 90 are welcome to race here at the Kokanee Valley Race Series. Who are some of the speed demons to look out for? Well, we've got some in each age category. In our wisest groups in 70 and up, we've got Grace Oaks to watch out for. The Kokanee Valley Race Series is actually a recreational racing league for adults, for people 19 and over. I want to come out and test their skills against people their own age. The Whistler Adaptive Sports Program comes out and enjoys the Kokanee Valley Race Series every month and I'm here with Sarah. How excited are you to do a little uh, ski racing? I'm pretty excited but I've never done a board across the skis before but I've done it on a snowboard before. How do you think you're going to do? I think I'm going to get first place. Watch out for Sarah. <laughs> Train GS is a simple version of taking a skier cross course and what we do is we do time trial. So it's got a couple of bank turns, a couple of rollers, there's no jumps. It looks like there's a lot of volunteers that come out and make this event possible. Tell us about that. So we've got a great program with volunteers and you are right, we couldn't do any of these events without them. So every season we hire approximately 70 volunteers and the program with them is they get to commit 23 days. So it comes to about one day a week and they come out and they help us execute all these events and they have various jobs. We try to always keep it different and fun for those guys. It is a recreational race league. Some people take it maybe seriously, but it's all about having fun. We've got people in race suits that come out. We have people that have never done it. And our goal is to bring people out, come and have fun. Helmets are mandatory and the next big race is happening on March 15th. You can find out more details at whistlerblackhome.com. After a great day of skiing, the perfect way to unwind is with an apres ski at a local watering hole. Good friends and great tales are important, as is live music, and it's served up daily at the Dublin Gate in Whistler. I'll just start playing something and we'll see what comes out. Spontaneity. That's where the magic happens for this duo. Chad's just, he's always, like, he's always coming up with ideas. Like, the guy's just got ideas flying off him 24-7. So, so he'd just start, like, jamming on a groove. And so i just start jamming with it. And then the next thing you know, we've got the iPhone out, and we're just trying to catch the magic as it's happening, because you've you got to get it when it's hot. Chad Oliver and Ian Cameron of the newly created Ruckus Deluxe take a few minutes out before their regular apres ski set at the Dublin Gate in Whistler. The only indication that this is in fact a jam, not a performance, is the nonsensical lyrics Chad sings. When you're playing, you're just constantly throwing out ideas. I find when I play, repetition is just something that's always been ingrained in me. So like if something comes out, you latch onto it, and you, you play it again, that's just part of song. First comes the music, then later the lyrics are penned. Like true masters, both musicians make the process look easy. But this magic wouldn't carry over these guitar and violin strings without great skill and experience to back it. Ian is a classical violinist turned rogue, and Chad is a former Cirque du Soleil lead singer who played for more than two million people across North America and Europe. We have a lot of fun playing together. We have a lot of fun writing the songs. It's great to go into something with no expectations, and then it just it turns out to be something. That most recent something is the release of a self-titled seven-song EP, which includes Whistler's official anthem entitled Top of the World. That's why you take the risk at the top of the world with the great big dude. Up high, the sky so blue. Look around and you feel brand new right at home. Chad wrote the winning anthem for the Whistler Museum's 100th anniversary this winter. Repeated requests from the public for that popular song led to this ruckus moving into a recording studio. We were having people continually coming up and asking us throughout the season if we, uh, if we had a CD. And we always felt a little bit sheepish, like, uh, no, we don't. So finally we just said, okay, well, I guess we should finish some of these songs. We've almost sold out of the first run, so 
So that's good. So we're we'll putting to another run and see what happens. In the meantime, covers such as I Am a Man of Constant Sorrow keep this Ruckus Deluxe going at the Dublin Gate, where hands clap and ski boots tap to country, pop, rock, or otherwise. Ski resort crowds are always ready to party. It makes it really easy to have that great that great uh, atmosphere because people are here to have fun. It's not like they're like, oh, they've stumbled into their neighborhood pub and just to, you know, blow off some steam after work. It's a great place to find yourself in if you want to, you know, just play some music. Country rock music is where Ruckus Deluxe wants to make their mark. With Chad's background in writing and playing in Nashville, and Ian's instruments of choice such as the banjo, country rock was the natural choice in more ways than one. I went and saw Keith Urban play really recently when he was in Vancouver, and I was like, wow, there's like 18,000 people there, and I bet 16,000 were women, and I was like, I think we're going in the right direction. <laughs> From Whistler, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV. Like what you heard? I know I did. You can download their music at ruckusdeluxe.com. Whether you're 19 or 90, everyone's welcome here at the Kokanee Valley Race Series, no matter how you slide. You're watching The Express, your local voice. Our next stories whip you into shape. One and two. That's all hands here. So one I can do and that. two. Yes? After the break, reporter two. Bianca Solterbeck goes dancing with the stars. One and two. That's it. Keep rolling. And Metro Vancouver host Johanna Ward gets ready to rock and roll for the sun run. Nicole Fitzgerald's clothing provided by Peak Performance. Ski gear provided by Nordica. Hairstyling by The Loft Salon. Makeup by Beauty Mark. Parking provided by the Fire Rock Lounge.